We begin our show with one of the fancy restaurateurs slash showmen you'll ever meet. He is Chef Andre. Known for years as the owner of Lugano Swiss Bistro Restaurant at the Barnyard here in Carmel. Hello, Hunter. You made it. Welcome. Uh, how are you? Thank you for having me. Thank you. Come on in. Look, oh, it's the here. chef. Hi, how are you? Please come on well, in. Let's go. Oh. Lugano Swiss Bistro. And look who we got here, Hunter Final himself. I bow to you, I'm bowing to you. Well, Andre, it is about time you joined our show, but uh, no, all kidding aside, thank you very much for being our host. I appreciate it. It's my pleasure to be on your show. <laughs> you have a wonderful, fabulous show. I've been watching it for the last four years, and well, I really enjoy it, and I always said I gotta be on it one day. Well, well here you are, Andre. Now, Andre, before we talk Oktoberfest, because that's much of the theme of our show this month, I want people to find out about who you are. Now, I know you hail from Switzerland, but what drew you here to America in the first place? When I was 21, I came over here. I flown to Aspen and I gone skiing. I always heard that the powder skiing is so wonderful, so <laughs> I'm still here. I, uh, and how'd you get from Aspen to, Mon to Monterey and uh, Carmel? You know, I, I, I used to work for, other, for a hotel chain, and uh, finally I came uh, to Carmel 20 years ago, and I said, I gotta stay here. Carmel reminds me so much of my hometown, the Carmel Valley, the village and all that. And that is the area I want to stay, and I'm now here for 20 years. Andre, have you always loved to cook, even since you were a little guy? When I was 16, I took an apprenticeship in Hotel Hofmaran in Arosa, Switzerland. Your dream of creating this restaurant, how did it actually come about, Lugano Swiss Bistro, here at the Barnyard in Carmel? Uh, the Barnyard actually approached me and said, we have this location, would you like to run a restaurant in there and I said yes and I did not know what to do after a while since I, I was talking to my wife about it she said why don't you do what you do best and we came up with our schnitzel and fondue restaurant so now let me talk a little bit about Swiss cuisine what I think right. people are confused what they think is all heavy it's not true we have light fondue we have seafood fondue we have beef fondue we have some different kind of fond uh, lighter food right and obviously we got the schnitzel and the steaks and all that okay? sure but Swiss cuisine is the best of French, Italian, and German food. And we are mixed it all together, and it's just the, the best of it all. That's what Swiss cuisine is all about. And I notice Oktoberfest is mainly about beer, but you have wine here. Uh, today, I, I think a uh, little sip of wine. A little red wine, wine is good. You and your wife, Andre, really make a great team, don't you think? We, we are a good team, and uh, without her, I probably still be always back in the kitchen. She makes sure that I, I recognize the customer, she knows all the customers by name. Uh, so uh, together we have a good relationship and I think we make a good team. It's easy for a chef and owner to brag about his restaurant, but in a bit, we'll find out what the public thinks of Lugano Swiss Bistro.